Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Camille and this video was supposed to be live. So I was literally on live a while ago and then they commented, my sister commented and said that I pay rice grain to your hair, she's not hearing me properly. So I stopped to listen to it. And I pay rice grain, like you know them old time TV the way you have to go outside and put up the antenna? Yeah, that, that what's, what, that's what was going on. So I think I need to upgrade. Yeah, this is not working anymore. Anyway, the video has to be done. So we can't go live, we'll just record it and post it, right? So the title of the video is I Cut My Hair Again. As you can see, yes, I literally cut my hair again. Guys, like this whole hair care journey is a serious thing. I literally relaxed my hair the other day, right? Um, it processed really nicely. I'm like, this is done nicely as you can see for yourself. The relaxer did its thing. I was gonna record that video. I left the memory card at home and I couldn't anymore. So I had everything else except the memory card. So that's like not bringing the camera. If you don't have the memory card, what are you gonna do? You can't do nothing. So I didn't record that. I wanted to, but I didn't. I couldn't. Anyway, I relaxed my hair. It came out just as I wanted it to, which is a good thing. Now, I didn't get to, based on the fact that I didn't have the camera with me at that time, I didn't get to do all of what I wanted to do because I wanted to blow dry and do a silk press. So I had to do it the next day because I do have a 9 to 5. So I wrapped it up while it was wet and I went ahead and recorded that blow dry and so called silk press. I'm not even gonna call that video a silk press because it didn't come out how I wanted it to. So I blow dry and flat iron my hair. I was so disappointed. My hair never looked good. I'm like, this is not what it looks like when other YouTubers are doing it. So something is wrong here. Anyway, after I was done, I was thinking to myself, these ends these ends are getting on top of my nerves i'm doing my best here with you and you're not giving me back the same results i must admit that after i had my son i did some really stupid stuff in terms of braiding my hair too tightly right after taking out the braid i put in crochet hair so that's double jeopardy so i put my hair in a situation where i shouldn't have that was definitely a no-no for my hair. I should have just went to the hairdresser and relaxed it. That, that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. But I never did. So, because of that, my whole hairline went away. It went on vacation. It's now coming back. As you can see, it's coming back. But even though my hairline is coming back, the rest of my hair is just looking a mess. To me, at least. Other people are telling me, Camille, your hair looks nice and ting, ting, ting. But it doesn't look nice to me and for me to be recording videos to show you guys on how to treat your hair I messed up I messed up so not only am I recording this video to tell you guys that I cut my hair again which I like I, I think this hair cut suits me I really do like this haircut but I wanted to grow out my hair so not only am I recording this video to tell you guys that I cut my hair, but I'm going to be cutting it again. This is what I plan to do to my hair. And I really hope I stick to it because it's some good stuff, you know? <laughs> Not out of the way good stuff, just normal good stuff. But good stuff. And good stuff is good stuff. Can't get over that. I'm going to... My plans are, I'm not going to cut it as yet. The only reason why I'm not cutting it as yet is because I had bought a hair on Amazon which I showed you guys in a probably about four videos ago I bought a hair on Amazon and I do intend to show you guys how I'm gonna install that hair so that hair cannot be installed on a bald head or really short hair I would prefer to have this to work with to make my life a little bit easier so after, I'm, I'll probably keep that hair in for probably about two to three weeks, maybe not even so long because 
I do have a dandruff problem and if it's itching me, it's not gonna stay. I'm taking it out. O-U-T, out. I don't play that. And I can't wash it with it in my hair, so it has to go. Anyway, I'm gonna put that hair in. After I take it out about, let's say one to three weeks. After I take it out, I plan to bleach my hair. So, to me, or for me, once you bleach your hair, you know it's gonna drop off. It's gonna fall out. So you plan to lose that hair anyway because bleaching your hair is damaging your hair. Like good, good damage. Plus I am relaxed. <laughs> that hair would go in no time. Anyway, so because I'm planning to cut my hair, why not bleach it? So I'm gonna bleach it. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it as yet, but of course you guys will know as soon as I do it. After I bleach it, I'll probably do a mohawk with some length left or I'm just, I'm just gonna cut it off like really low like big chop low like ball head low like all gone and then I'm gonna go ahead and grow out back my hair so natural hair is not my thing my hair is I'm I'm the four I'm the I'm the seest type of four or the forest type of C. My hair is 4CC. Like it's good, it's thick. It can't comb, it broke comb. That's my hair. My hair is very thick and hard to manage. I can't manage my, I, I literally, I literally used to get tired from combing my 4C hair. And I don't wanna be tired after combing my hair, just combing my hair. I understand tired from braiding it or tired from doing a whole bunch of stuff to it the whole day. But just to comb it, Jared, I'm not supposed to get tired. So, I'm gonna cut it all off. This is my intention. I'm gonna cut it all off. I'll probably bleach it again. So I'll probably be like a, a TWA blondie or something. And I'm, I'll probably try to maintain it for about a year because you know we can wear braids and stuff. So I'll probably like braid it up and let it grow out a little bit and then I'll relax it back because I don't think I can manage being a natural girl. So kudos to all you naturalistas out there. I don't see myself as strong as you are. So, or maybe your hair is not as 4C as I am. So yeah, that's pretty much what I plan to do with my hair. No, this is definitely not something that I am happy about or even proud of. I'm really sad that I'm having to cut my hair because a couple of months ago, the length of my hair, like that was that's the longest I can remember. I'll probably see if I can find a pick or something and insert it somewhere. But that's the longest I've ever had my hair. Like my hair did dip on a good track. I was actually on a good track with my hair and the treatments were going good even the braidings that i used to do before were great but i don't know where i went wrong well i know where i went wrong but <laughs> i shouldn't have and i did so this is just the consequence that i have to go through and as i said i'm not happy about it i don't want to cut my hair but why would i try to retain length when the hair is damaged why would I try to continue growing it out when it doesn't look good? It's better to me or for me, it's better if my hair is short and looks healthy than long and not healthy. That it no look good. If they cut it off, it's way better to cut it off. So that's that's pretty much what I plan to do. I actually started my YouTube hair journey when I was relaxed. So a lot of you wouldn't have known that I did a big chop before. I cut off all of my hair before and it looked really nice i liked it but i just decided to grow it back because that too isn't so much my thing i mean you want to change up your hairstyle so i'm not trying to make this video forever and ever and ever and ever long so i just wanted to get to the point let you guys know what i'm up to or what i plan to do the thing is because i have my son and i have a nine to five youtube isn't the same when you have nothing else to do but youtube when you don't have a job, well, let me not say don't have a job, could you because you too could be a job, but when you don't have to like dedicate a whole eight hours out of your day 
for another job where you can't even pay attention to other stuff and then once I'm done working my son gets home I can't focus on YouTube when I have my child so I'm trying to post as best as I can as most as I can as most as I can as <laughs> As much as I can I'm trying to post as much as I can so yeah so in the meantime while I have this 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 on my head I will definitely try to take the best care of it until I'm ready to cut it off because when I rock when I want to rock my hair I want to rock my hair good regardless of the length of it or if it's relaxed or natural I want to make sure that I'm rocking my hair good after all this is a hair channel and I don't want to let you guys down so as i said as long as i have this on my head i'll definitely try to take the best care of it so i can still give you guys like tips and tricks on how to treat your relaxed hair anyway guys that is pretty much it for the video thank you so much for watching please give this video a big thumbs up 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 if you like it and if you have not yet subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe now turn on your bell so that you don't miss out on any content that i post and until next time i will see you in my next video bye Ha, ha, ha.